the Colonial Capital Humane Society is operating out of a temporary shelter, the same facility it used for 42 years. Next year, society leaders will break ground on a new permanent facility. Down on your sides, Camila Barco shows us how this will help employees and animals. <laughs> nice. This is a typical day for Madison Newman. She's a kennel technician at Colonial Capital Humane Society. Personally like rescuing animals better. Some days are positive, others, to keep the puns going, rough. Bad weather, we have to work in it too. If the dogs are in it, we're in it as well. Trailers, campers, and outdoor kennels are the only shelter, and that poses a challenge. When we have anything a category two or above, we have to evacuate both the cats and the dogs. Now, Colonial Capital Humane Society is giving dogs something to bark about. We have a really great start to be able to start phase one of our project in the spring. Next year, the organization will break ground on its first permanent facility. It will have quarantine and laundry rooms and four open playrooms for cats. And so we'll keep the open um, cattery concept. Um, and then we have screen porches that are um, um, outside of each of the areas so that the cats get to kind of play outside and have some fresh air, but are still in a protected environment. Phase two will add a memorial garden, a meet and greet room, a surgical suite, administrative offices, and indoor and outdoor kennels. It's amazing. It's, I'm so excited for it. It's everything that's going to happen with it, the surgical suite. Um, it's, I'm most excited for the dogs, honestly. It's what they deserve. The changes will allow team members to be more efficient and better serve the animals. That functional building will also increase um, our adoption rates, our adoption turnover rates. Groundbreaking for phase one is expected to take place next spring. The full project is expected to be ready by early 2022. In Craven County, Camila Barco, Men on Your Side.